Hello friends and welcome back. Today we'll be creating hidden messages inside of our images. It doesn't have to be messages. It can be anything from a logo to a shape, but we're for sure gonna hide them in our images. We're gonna be clicking launch app up here. We're gonna select automatic 1111. I'm selecting the turbo machine here. Select the time you want it to run, then click launch and then wait a couple of minutes. Once that is launched, you'll see this. Now, first of all, we're gonna go into the photo P extension. If you don't have that available, you can find it in the extensions tab. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna select the text tool and we're gonna write dogs. You can write whatever you want. I'm gonna resize this to make it a little bigger putting it in the middle here, and I'm sending this to text to image control net. I'm making sure that this is enabled, and then I'm selecting the QR code monster here. And then going up here, and I am prompting for dogs playing. I'm making sure that my width and height is 512 by 512 to correspond with our image here. This isn't necessary, but it's good to get your first images right. I'm pressing the high risk fix and I'm making sure that this is upscaled by two times. That will make our final image 1024 by 1024. Now, when we generate this, you will see that our result will have the text dogs inside of the image. And if you're looking at it like this and squinting your eyes a little bit or moving back, you will be able to see the text dogs. However, if we zoom in like this, the text is all but missing. But as soon as you make it smaller again, squint your eyes or move away, you will see dogs again. And this works just as well with an image. So if you would drop in this little uh, Twitter bird here and change this into Paradise Island Waterfall, we will now get an image that resembles the Twitter or the actually the old Twitter logo. And as you can see in the results here, we are getting a cut in here where the shapes is similar. If you have your image inverted, if it's black or white, or if you want it the other way around, you can select invert here from the preprocessor that will make it inverted from white background to a black background. You can also increase the control weight here to two if you are not seeing the results here clearly enough. Now we're running this inverted at a higher control weight so we will be seeing much more clearly the picture here of our bird. And looking at the results, that is exactly what we're seeing in this waterfall here. I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. Bye.